Hello everybody, it's go time. I've got the best build ever made in air mech here, as you can see. Uh, it's got my the striker, which is, you know, pretty basic mech, but it's uh, a tried and true strategy. You got Blaster Guardians to put out extra damage. Jumper is a very effective infantry in all situations. You got the dinger. Uh, when you place it, all your units deal a million billion more damage every single shot. Uh, the Joker, which is the best infantry in the game. Ice Cream Buck, which is a reskin of my favorite unit, the Bucky. It's glorious. And then if you have all three E's in the same build, they become ten times as effective. So we're going to get ready to play right here. Why do you have such powerful units? Yes, this is my first game. Um, this is my buddy Regret. It's his first game too. Uh, and we're going to go against these guys. They got This guy's got a skin on his. That seems pretty rare. It's like Google Chrome. Google's like really expensive, so I'm just assuming they paid a lot. Oh, he's, he left. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna do it live. I'm just gonna wait for somebody else now. Okay, so as you can see, the game has started. We've got it loading in here. They're both using the Helix, which was used a lot in the tournament, so they're probably the best players. Oh, this needs tech? Uh, I gotta wait to build that. I didn't actually know that. But, uh, a unit that adds such incredible damage and speed buffs to every unit on the field. Uh, theirs get twice as much, double, is probably gonna be pretty expensive. I think you build them on pads too, but, uh, anyway, it's gonna start with the Jokers here because they're they're pretty good. They're pretty good at what they do. So here we are shooting up the enemies because that's how you bite guys in air mech. You shoot them. Um, I'm a pro, so I know that. It's a good tip. We took the middle post here. Our infantry are walking in right now. We're just going to pop these guys because, like, what are they going to do? You know? Oh, ready for first blood? Ready to game this nerd? First blood! I'm the best at air mech. Um, okay, got enough now for the first tech pod to, or at least, yeah, the first tech pod. Um, but I got enough for the dinger too, but I wasn't looking at the price of that, I was looking at the tech pod. Uh, yes, building the first tech pod. And we've also captured the middle fort, which is really important. I mean, middle base, these are the bases. The fortresses are on either side. And this is also a fortress, I think, because it looks kind of cool. I've got jokers on my seven key, because seven is a lucky number, and that makes them also deal more damage. Oh, shoot, these guys are giving us a hard time, eh? Oh, all ground units, their mistake. Time to use... Uh, my own personal favorite move, which is the take units to the enemy base and drop them there because you're an asshole. Oh, there we go. I'm landing on the ground. Just going to blow up their tech pod. Oh, I actually can't walk away from here. Hey, eh? well, this is awkward. Um, I guess I'll just stand still for a second. Oh, I got it. I did it. Once again, pretty good at this game. It's almost unfair. But we've got the troops moving up now, and they're going to have a really hard time breaking our defense. I'm going to start building in some... Oh, there, there's the dinger. It's only 10,000. My mistake. Excellent. Losing a tech pod is a major setback, so you want to be really careful of that. Uh, he's playing Bomber. I'm playing Striker, because, once again, they're both pretty basic mechs. And the idea is to design a strategy that's usable uh, uh, across the board, you know? So you want to go back to basic. I'm going to put this dinger down at the middle post, because what it will do is... Um, see that ring? That is the ring of influence, where it makes your units impossible to kill. Uh, it's going to keep cranking them out. This is going to go really well. So when you use a strategy like this that's really unit-centric, it's important to be aware of the, of the uh, you know, the possible fallout effects of having so many units on the field, which is that they can die. Uh, one way to avoid losing any units at all is actually to not build them. So, I mean, I, this is what I would advise the enemies to do right now, because they're using, losing a lot of units to our um, superior force. They should probably stop building them. And this will give you more money to build things like extra dingers, which will make the ones that you turtle at your base, because turtling is a good strategy, too. Um, really, really, really hard to, to, you know, to fight off. And so, look, we got this guy, like, dropping grinders and stuff. Like, what is this supposed to do? This guy's an amateur, right, you know? Like, if, if he was good at this, like me, he would know you're not supposed to drop units two feet away from, from the enemy. Breaking the fourth wall here. I'm actually not joking. That was kind of silly. Especially since they're grinders. They don't even do anything. Gonna build some ice cream bucks. Oh, actually, clear the entire thing. Make way for a vault box. And you want to put this, basically, on the front line. Uh, you can actually, if you want to, you can start to make a wall out of them. It's a recommended strategy if you really read the tooltips for things like the vault box. Um, and what happens is, when they die, you get a lot of money, so that's really important, too. Um, you can build some smaller versions if you are getting short on credits, though, because they have to die first, you know, for you to see the payout of that. Um, if you were smart or something, you know, you might want to put a ratchet or something, but ratchets are pretty ratchet, so... Uh, you know, and not dying is just as important, so I'm just gonna... Oh, they actually take a lot of carrying capacity. See, if you were using something like the Osprey, that would be different. Um, because they have more, they can carry more. Ospreys, I think, can carry five units at once. Five units. Okay, here's Viking. What's this guy even playing at? You can't game on us. Don't forget to upgrade your airspeed and build speed, because speed is the most important thing in air mech. Uh, it's also a dangerous Schedule 1 drug. It makes... It's very illegal. Don't ever... Don't, don't do it. Drugs, not even once. Um... 
Hugs. Hugs, not drugs. Uh, a new feature being added to AirMech in the next patch is hugging. You can hug. It's gonna be one of my, one of my personal favorites. Uh-oh, they looks like they're getting some arties in the background, getting smart. I'm level 7, though, so not like I care about anything ever. So as you can see, the enemy has made a pretty rookie mistake here of leaving the entire front of their base unguarded from the beginning of the game. There have never been any units there. Uh, black smudges mean, basically the, the field turns brighter as you put more units down because that's what all the oil spills make it look like, is their oil is very reflective. Um, basically just gonna pop that guy with my, I didn't even need my missiles, because he was just running around like a dinkle donk. Uh, there we go, pop in the base, that's it, it's done. Uh, double, kill. double kill, that's worth a thousand extra Rampage. points. Rampage, that means you win. That's what it says when you win. So, thank you for watching this video. Thank you to Regret for being such a good sport. Left the game right off the bat. This guy never stops. Um, yeah, that's my fave build, everybody. Uh, what you do after you win is you leave. Press continue. Unless it froze. Oh, there we go. It did it. Aces, check off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, new angel variant, shark. Uh, it has a special move where it bites things. Um, I don't think sharks are actually immune to cancer. I think that's just a myth. But you can do some research on that uh, contest. If you tell me if they can do that and like cite some good sources, then you might win a Santa hat. Okay, thank you for watching this video, everyone. Bye-bye.